Welcome, Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and guests. Welcome to my famous five minutes say yes to Chinese class. <laughs> Before I start my class, the first thing I want to say is thanks everyone here are going to pay $5,000 each person to join my class. <laughs> <laughs> I hear some comments, Mr. Ruber. <laughs> Thank me for the incredible low price. Don't mention it. <laughs> <laughs> you know it better. Chinese have a history of 5,000 years. 5,000 dollars. If you do the math, one dollar per one year, you cannot be this price. <laughs> <laughs> but that is what friends for. Friends will not that friends overpay. So do me a favor. Don't mention it. <laughs> First, let me teach you how to read a Chinese word. years ago, Chinese saw the sun in the sky on your left hand side, on, on, on top. They drew the shape of the sun, they kept the shape and they simplified it year after year. So all the way to the right, today, this is the world of the sun. 5,000 years ago, Chinese saw the moon in the sky on your right hand side, uh, on your left, left hand side, excuse me, and they draw the shape of the moon kept the shape and they simplified it year by year and today this is the work of the moon <coughs> the Chinese make their words based on the shape they see in everything this is called typography in Chinese character so the next time if you don't know any Chinese word when you read, some, read a Chinese word try to take a guess based on how it looks like to you use your imagination you could have a high chance to get it right, or at least you are heading to the right direction. Hmm. How you read Chinese word. This is how you read Chinese word. Next, I would like to talk about how do you read a Chinese book. There are two kinds of books I read every day. The first book, I read like this. The second book, I read like this. <laughs> Can you tell the difference? Yes. <laughs> the first book I read is in English. And then in um, English, they go side by side. Yes. The second book I read is in Chinese. In Chinese, the words go up and down. Wow. Moreover, an English book starts from your left to your right. So the first page is right here, and all the way to the last page to here. A Chinese book, the other way around. It goes from the first page, from your right, all the way to the left, to the last page. I remember when I first came to this country, I went to high school here. My mom was so impressed. At the middle of the school year, she saw me almost finish every textbook today, I want to confess, Ma, I'm sorry. English book from left to right, and Chinese book from right to left. <laughs> I was just about to start American book. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, I want to show you how to read, uh, how to write a Chinese word. This is a Chinese brush. Traditionally, Chinese people use Chinese brush to write Chinese words. <laughs> And the thing you want to know, you have to know is, when you write a Chinese word using a Chinese brush, your elbow has to be in the air. When we write using a pen, we, our uh, elbow is like a, against the table. Yeah. But when you write a Chinese word using the Chinese brush, your elbow is in the air. Chinese people use this way of writing to practice their concentration of their mind. 
A person who cannot concentrate cannot write beautiful Chinese words. A person who can write beautiful Chinese words with your book in the air is very respect in Chinese community. He or she will be a master in writing Chinese and can make a lot of money just because can write a beautiful Chinese word with a book in the air. When I was in junior high in Taiwan, everybody had to take a Chinese writing class with Chinese, with Chinese brush. And when the professor is in the classroom, everybody do very serious like this. When the professor leaves the classroom, everybody do like this. <laughs> You ought to laugh right now, but try your, your, yourself. If you can write with your, your elbow in the air for one paragraph, not just one word, it's very difficult. So, today, let's do some re review. Who can tell me how to read a Chinese word? Anybody? By the shape. Good student, actually. <laughs> <laughs> next, next question, how to read a Chinese book? That's right. Good student again. <laughs> and uh, how, uh, how to write a Chinese word? Last question. Put your elbow in the air. Yes, yes. Concentration. Thank you. So, it seems this is a good class because why? Because you have a good teacher, right? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Uh, uh, Host Master, can you read my title again, please? Yeah, the best Chinese teaching professor of the year. Yay! Why do you think I have the confidence to say you have no problem from Chinese, uh, to read Chinese from now on? Because you're a Toastmaster. Right. That's one of the reasons, but <laughs> the, the other reason is now you learn from me, a Chinese is from up and down. The next time when you read a Chinese, you can only say yes, 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 no, 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 no. no. <laughs>